Welcome to the Arco Linux D Cinnamon tutorial. We are going to install Cinnamon on Arco Linux D ISO. That's the idea. If you want to do that, then you go first to the installation. It's okay. How do we install Arco Linux D? You scroll all the way down. There's a video about that, but this thing I still need to do that. Action one, get the fastest service, mirror. Action two, let's get everything from Arch and Arco Linux. And if you run then PKS YUA, then the only thing that is coming in is the part from the AOR, since all the rest has been updated already. So that's a nice way to distinguish what's coming from Arch and Arco and what's coming from AOR. So let's do that. So Arco Linux D has been installed. I reboot it. I type in my password to log in. You see a nice new fetch, so you know already some information of your system. And then you go with mirror. You start with the fastest servers around you. I'm from Belgium, other people are from USA, other people are from Tokyo and other places. So you get the fastest servers in your country. That's done. Now we're going to update as an alias. And like I said, these guys are from Arch and Arco. Done. Next one, if you run this one and the first one update and then this one, the only difference or the only updates will come from the AOR then. But actually we mostly use PKS YUA to update everything. Arch, Arco and AOR. So we're done. We did not see anything about the Linux kernel. So we don't need to reboot. That's something I always do. See a Linux kernel, reboot. I don't know. So that's um, this element. So we've done these actions. And then we go to phase three and we decide to install Cinnamon. You take a look maybe at the Cinnamon gallery and say, oh, looks nice. I want to have that too. Let's try it. And then you scroll down. This video is the one we're making. And let's, let us install Arco Linux D and Cinnamon are all the articles available about uh, Cinnamon. And up here is the gallery, which we saw already. The installation is the one we're going to do now. So phase one has been done. We did it already, we installed already Arco Linux D ISO on the virtual box. Now it's up to us to git clone scripts and run them. So this is a video about phase two. All right, phase two is Get your scripts. And then you choose your desktop. i3, Mate, XFCE, awesome, BSPWM. We have today, July 2018, 10 desktops to choose from. So have fun. Cinnamon is the one we choose. And we get a folder. We actually did a simple copy paste from net, git clone. And we change our directory to Arco Cinnamon and we're inside. So this is what we need to do. We have to run all these numbers, starting with the smallest and ending with 910. So these scripts will change, of course, the contents will change, the numbering will change, but the well the result will be of course a working functional cinnamon. First things first, we've added a, a, a very important um, script that actually looks at your system and says, hey, you have eight cores and you're only using one core. That means that building, compressing packages from the AOR will take very long with one core and will be less time if you use eight cores. So this is an important script and it's also in our Arco Linux ISO in the bin folder, the dot bin. You take a look. So that's done. He will use now four cores since we're on VirtualBox, eight cores, meaning four for the host and four for the guest. Maybe you want to have a desktop. Oops, that's not the one. Maybe you want to have a desktop, meaning in this case, LightDM as a display manager and Cinnamon as desktop. So all these elements need to go. You see GNOME backgrounds, which is one of the dependencies but also cinnamon menu and so on. So that's an important script. 
and then it's all I think very pretty straightforward in the sense that do you want sound do you want music well better install 110 then that's probably for everybody but there might be scripts in there that you say don't need it like Bluetooth will you need will you be needing Bluetooth All right if you don't need it don't install it next up printers never use printers for my Linux system then don't use it and you should think if you would think that with the, all these printers that's in there my Canon would be in there and no so I have to install an extra package for my drivers and you'll be you might be in the same uh, position the only thing you have to do is Tryzen Canon and then your number 7750 up and you'll see something pop up and if you see something pop up and it works great for you so we were talking about printers 100, uh, 140 is maybe 140 is maybe one that you skip I don't know Samba is telling my computer to share a folder on the net and I'm telling that Eric can log in with this password and this password he can now log in into my system so I can share my pictures from holiday and my brother sister mother father can all come to my computer with this login and this password and see them that's Samba and then 150 is for the, all the guys who have NAS servers uh, Windows computers Mac computers in their network and they want to see it they want to make a connection to it okay 200 is the longest one I will have to take a break here in the sense that we'll have to pause the video you see in the naming of uh, the convention of the naming that some of the things are coming from Arch summing some of AUR Arch user repository meaning this can be anybody can be you can be me can be anybody it's nothing it has nothing to do with Arch as such it's an conglomeration of people finding software in the net making a package build so we can use that package on our Arch Linux on our Arch Linux what we're running now is all coming from Arch so 200 you see the name Arch then you know okay this is from the Arch repos and AUR is from the Arch user repositories okay pausing for a while all right that's finished so with arrow up we can see that this was 200 and then we go for the next one ls to show 300 has the words AUR so we are going to get them from the Arch user repository and this might take a while as well so let's pause here as well at this point we have to tell them that we want to install VirtualBox and then we're almost at the end of our script like so and then last thing hard code fixer all the icons that are not okay will be fixed quite a few no four that's okay and then arrow up that was number 300 next up is the repo the distro specific uh, applications for arch and another one distro specific from AUR so 400 is the next and let's pause the video here that's a very short uh, run 500 is the next one AOR repo specific distro specific and we're pausing again and then the next one this is the most important one in the sense these are the stuff that's coming from the Arco Linux repository so we have a lot of packages on there and the correct package should go in the correct desktop so this selection has been done already and will be the basis all this Arch Linux D is the basis of course for Arch Linux B cinnamon the build it yourself 
Then we're going to install some fonts without fonts. No fun. We always look at our screen and we need to love our fonts. As simple as that. And if we like conkeys, we need the fonts for the conkeys because a conky is often as beautiful as the font is. Then, if you would like to auto login, meaning you boot up your system, you put the, the start button, you push the start button, walk away, and then come back and want to be in Cinnamon straight away, not at the login screen. And then you need to run this one. You have to tell them, hey, what is your login actually? Because your name, your login will be added to the group. Auto login. Done. And there is a uh, microcode error that is still, uh, well, already some months. That's, that's keeping us busy in the sense that some of us have this error when we boot and we have this microcode error. It's easily fixed, but yeah, we need to run something to fix it. And uh, that's done. And the uh, fix for the mice, mouse cursor breathes now. We're making sure that everywhere we get the same mouse. Every, not not uh, some applications, this mouse or that mouse. It's all the breeze snow cursor. That's that. The only thing to do now is to sudo reboot. Press enter. And phase two is finished. The only thing we need to do is wait for the login. So the auto login is taking place now. And this is quite normal, running on software, rendering, etc. Just install it on your SSD hard disk. You won't see it anymore. And this is how it looks standard out of the box. When you install Arch Linux, then you'll have a similar look. Of course, lots of software will not be there. We've installed lots of applications. If you just install uh, Cinnamon, you should do that. You get barely anything, you know, and that's normal. So this is what Cinnamon looks like. And it's up, uh, up to us now to go to phase three, phase four. And then of course the fun starts, the theming, the tweaking and so on. All right.